Hello, Curious Music students. This is Amy from Motif Music Studios. And we're going to talk about two different kinds of rhythms today. So let's just dive right into what is the difference of beat and rhythm. So you're going to be really getting curious about the sounds that you hear all around you. So when we talk about beat in music, beat is like the steady pulse of music. I like to call it the heartbeat of music. Some of you might be able to find your pulse and feel like a little steady pulse. I usually get students to run as fast as they can in one spot and then see if they can feel their heart beating. That is like a steady beat in music. It can go slow and steady, like one, one, one. Or it could go fast and steady, one, 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 like that. So the first note we're gonna learn about is called a quarter note, and I'm so excited that I get to teach you this. So they have a little black head and a stem. Sometimes the stem goes upwards and sometimes it goes downwards. But no matter what, if we're talking about common time, which we're gonna learn first, this is gonna get one count or one beat. So we could go one, one, one. One. You might also hear people count them like this. One, two, three, four. Each way is right. Today we're just going to count it as one, 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 one. So it's a little bit easier. So when you see music written like that, I love to get students to see how it would feel to play that rhythm out. You could tap it in your hands like one, 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 one. You could tap it on your shoulders if you wanted, like one, 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 one. You could just imagine it in your head. Or maybe you have an instrument at home, like a drum or a tapper. Some people find those things really loud and they think, oh no, I want to do it quietly. That's okay. You figure out how it feels great for you to explore rhythm. If you're also a curious piano player like me, you might even pick a note and think, oh, I'm gonna play four one count notes. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go one, 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 one. And you can practice that on different fingers. There's, again, no right or wrong way to kind of figure out music. So sometimes there's little kind of ideas we learn and they'll get easier as we go. So the next note that we're going to learn is called a half note. And the half note, you'll see that we have two of these guys fit into one of those. So each of these gets two counts each. So it's going to go one, two, one, two. And the sound is going to be held. So if I was to play it on a piano or if you were to try it, you'd go one. So that is the beginning of learning rhythm and rhythm is so much fun and it is how we explore music or drumming or strumming on a ukulele. You can use it so many different ways. So that is a really fun way to think of one count notes and two count notes. When I have students clap them, I like to say that we hold the sound. We go one, two, one, two. And that reminds us that once we're playing the piano, we would hold our hand. One, two, one, two. So the sound would continue. So that's uh, some fun tips to do with rhythm. So I hope you um, have fun exploring that on your own, and I'll see you again next time.